<laughs> Burn the ends. Now anyone would have changed the spaghetti. He went on cooking the spaghetti and just cut the black bits off and still served it to somebody. You dirty, dirty <laughs> presenter. <laughs> it is now time to total up the scores and find out who is today's winner. And it's over to our in-house mathematician. So it's one all this week, which puts Ant to the top of the leaderboard with a 3-2 lead. Gold star, McPartlin. You're watching Britain's Got More Talent, and we'll see you after the break. Coming up... Hot noodle followed by monster month. Piers, you're ugly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> We are in Birmingham, where acts like this think they can win. Pull the other one. And it's not just cows who are trying their luck. Animal acts, we've been spoiled with gin, haven't we? And do you know what? I almost wish we never had gin the dog. I know. You know? Because that dog was so incredible. Do you think we'll get another good animal act? All depends on the owner. Well, here's one man and his dog who could really perk up your day, Simon. My name's Perk. Perk, oh, Perk, yeah. Nice to see you, Perk. Perk. Hi. Yes, it was the obvious gag. So, tell me about your act. Well, actually, it's Finley. Um, he does the singing. Fin singing? Singing, yeah. He sings to UB40. That's the only thing he sings to at the moment. Take that? No, only UB40, that's Try it. Try this one. Go on, then. Could it be magic it, now? No. Now, snap your fingers, come on. Now I'm hold a vest. If I was to try a, a status quo one, which one should I give it go? Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, he wouldn't sing to it anyway. Really? So. And I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like Come on, Finley, help me out. <laughs> ah, here we go. Help me out. Rocking all over the world. <laughs> I don't think you like it. <laughs> Who are you guys? I'm Perk, and this is Finn Lee, the singing lurcher. He sings to UB40. <laughs> 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 and is it only UB40? Yeah. What's he going to sing today? He's going to sing um, the track called King. Mm -hmm. All right, good luck. OK, thank you. Can you sing? I hope he does. Finley wasn't singing. No. He was basically, in dog language, saying he doesn't like the record. <laughs> and then you did the funny dance. Yeah. <laughs> singing is when they sing the words. It's pretty difficult to get him to sing the words. <laughs> well, then it's not singing. He's adorable, and you're dead sweet as well, to be honest. Thank you. But, um, as an act, it's not great. Anyway, moment of truth. Simon, yes or no? He wasn't singing, so no. It's a no from me, sorry. Three no's, sorry. <laughs> OK, the dog today, do you know, I went through my iPod, would not sing to any other track apart oh, yeah, from King. Piers wanted to do that test, didn't well, you, Piers? and you wouldn't. Nothing. Sing in French, Italian, Spanish, English, I couldn't care less. The point is, is that you've got to sing the song. And we would love to find a singing dog. Well, there you go. The challenge is out then. 
If you know of, or in fact are a singing dog who has mastered the art of pronouncing actual lyrics, Britain's Got More Talent wants to hear from you. Please consult your owner before calling. This is Britain's Got More Talent, the show that takes you behind the scenes. Because we're literally behind the scenes. One hundred and twenty walkie-talkies, yeah. two thousand rounds of digi stock, one hundred and twenty headsets. It's an early start, um, and I basically just have to check absolutely everything, and then check it again, and then check it again. And ITV Two are having just as stressful a morning back at the hotel. This does not work with this. Sometimes I don't know how I get through the day. We've now arrived. This is where they hold all the auditionees. We now need to decide who we talk to. That's what they're all working out at the moment. And the ITV2 interviews know no boundaries when it comes to getting the exclusive. <laughs> Backstage, the ITV1 crew are using their time constructively. I think you took a chance to do some links in the audience, so that's what we're going to do now. We haven't heard enough of these. <laughs> Hopefully, Simon will be here in about 15 minutes. We should have started at 12. Sometimes you have to wait around an awful lot of time. Sometimes you have to wait around a very, very long time. In your own time, judges. Three, two, one. I start the day. Drag out. No, I can't forget this. Give me a The judges get a break. I now go upstairs, have a chat to them about the act we've just been speaking to. Which is basically where we crack all our best gags. <laughs> <laughs> Back to auditions, and while ITV1 carry on interviewing, ITV2 gives some subtle hints about wanting to go to bed. Oh! It's now 25 past 10, and we've got our last few here in the queue team. It's a wrap! Yeah! While the judges take a break, Simon has some tough decisions. Hot noodle followed by monster munch. Piers, however, doesn't have anything as nearly important to discuss. Just the acts in the competition. Today, you see talent that are you pleased with? Well, we've had one or two acts. It'd be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get my hair like yours, you know. <laughs> Well, comedian was great, don't get me wrong. The only problem was that I was the target of his unrelenting abuse. How do you not flirt with Piers Morgan? Piers, you're ugly. So obviously the comedian made Simon feel a million dollars, you know. Let me flirt with Simon, I'm a bad girl. This is how you flirt with Simon Cow. I've been a bad, bad girl. <laughs> My gentle advice is if you want me to vote for you, best not to call me ugly on national television in front of... 12 million people. Not in a million years. No. Piers are ugly. When people fire that corner, how do you feel? I like it when people show a bit of oomph, a bit of spirit, a bit of gumption. You want to come up here and sing, Simon? Because I'd like to see you face that one. You know, if I was on that stage doing one of my many talents, and you know how many I've got, Absolutely. and Simon started burying me and saying,